What is going on guys? My name is Connor and today we will be opening some 2020 Tops Pro Debut. So I have a love-hate relationship with this product. Uh, last year I picked up uh, a box of 2019 Pro Debut because I was like, hey, two autographs and two relics. Uh, can't, really, uh, can't really go wrong with that for like the 75 bucks or something it's worth. Um... So I got it, and I managed to get the uh, the uh, out of ten auto Vlad Guerrero Jr. card. So I definitely came out in the positive with Pro Debut last year. But after uh, after you're done opening it, you have to sort and put your cards away. So since every player is in their minor league jersey it's a little more difficult to do that. So um, I sort by pro team, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so you get 24 packs, eight cards per pack. Um, there's also a jumbo version of pro debut, which I do have a box of, but I uh, haven't decided when I'm gonna open that um, it has three autographs as opposed to the uh, the two and two that the the regular version of Pro Debut has, uh, but they also have Chrome cards. So I think it's like ten packs, fifty cards per pack, something like that, or maybe it's thirty cards per pack. I don't remember um, for the jumbo, but you get the Chrome cards, so that's kind of a a little added benefit. So as they all fall across the screen we have our uh, pro debut packs so i'm gonna set those kind of up in the corner there let's get into it uh we have jj Boudé on the front first round draft pick of the miami marlins uh something about this set i really like it it just kind of mimics the uh the uh, design of base tops so you have the same like one side border but like they have this this cool finish where it's like a matte finish uh, on the background, but the player has like a glossy finish. And something about that I, I really like. Uh, so we have a Heliot Ramos, a Matthew Lugo. Oh, and one thing I should point out. So we're looking for, for parallels, obviously. So changes in the color to the border. But this this little pro debut insignia, that's the, uh, the equivalent of a uh, first Bowman Chrome, right? So this is his pro debut. Uh, Matthew Lugo, whereas Hunter Green, pitching prospect for the Reds, he does not have a, a pro debut insignia. So that's that's what you're looking for. Um, we have an Antoine Kelly pro debut, Jesus Sanchez, Sammy Siani, and a Hunter Bishop. I believe Hunter Bishop was a was a relatively high draft pick. Um, let's see. Yeah, so drafted by the Giants, number one in uh, June 2019 so that's a nice one uh, nothing nothing huge in those packs so uh, we're looking for some of the top draft picks uh, obviously we're looking for those two autos and two relics uh, some nice parallels would be good uh, all sorts of stuff you can find in here so getting into this next pack we have a Hans Kraus uh, Matt Walner pro debut uh, Ethan Lindo, I think that is. Uh, we got a Brennan Malone. Then we have an insert set of Seth Martinez. It's the, let's see, the Copa de la Diversión. So the Diversity Cup. Uh, Shane Baz, part of that, uh, that uh, trade for Chris Archer. That didn't quite work out. Nick Wadolo, that's a pretty nice one. I know a lot of people are high on Nick Wadolo. And then Aaron Shortridge. Getting into this next pack. Let's see if we can uh, find like a, uh, a JJ Boudet or, or like a Andrew Vaughn, one of those, one of those bigger names. Uh, I don't believe, looks like we got a parallel here. So we got a Brian Mata and then we have an orange uh, Grant Little. I don't believe Jason Dominguez is in here. It's a out of 25 Grant Little. 
um, because he is a uh, he was he was wasn't like a like a drafted prospect. We have a Glenn Allen Hill Jr. No print lines going through his uh, his torso there. Greg Jones and Francisco Alvarez. Uh, but like I was saying, I don't think Jason Dominguez is in here, so that is why this product is a little colder than some of the other products right now. Series two came out today. Um, I do have a box on the way, uh, but I'm honestly not super excited to open it. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a lot going on uh, in those boxes. So I only got the one box. Um, sure, you get the Luis Robert rookie, but eh, just one good rookie in there is is not great. So we'll keep uh, moving on. Will Wilson, Jeremy Pena. Quinn Priester, I think some people are, are high on him. Oscar Gonzalez of the Akron Rubber Ducks. Uh, I would go to uh, some Akron Rubber Ducks game. There's Tristan McKenzie and watch uh, Tristan McKenzie pitch. Um, I uh, I went to school in the city of Akron, so I could go to those games pretty frequently. I walked there from my apartment, and then we got a nice uh, Joey Bart. Not a not a pro debut, but a lot of people are high on him. A future uh, heir to Buster Posey, most likely. Um, let's get into this next pack. We got the Braylon Marquez. There's a nice JJ Blade of the uh, Jupiter Hammerheads. We'll keep that one on the screen since he is the uh, the cover guy. A nice Jaron Duran, Alec Manoa, not a one of one Alec Manoa, but that was crazy. I can't believe I pulled that uh that Alec Manoa in in the last video, the one of one from the from the Bowman Megas, and I <laughs> didn't notice. Oh, man, those those refractors are really hard to see the uh, the serialization. So I missed the one of one. Um, but I did pull a 101, so that was pretty crazy. If you haven't seen that, go back and, and check out that video. Uh, it is doing quite well. Um, yesterday, it became a suggested video on the... Um, there's a nice one, CJ Abrams Pro Debut. Um, but yesterday, my, uh, my Mega Box video became a suggested video on Phil's Polls mega box video so I was sitting right around 200 views and then it jumped up to like 800 so that was really awesome uh, love getting suggested on on some of the bigger videos uh, if only I could figure out how to do that more consistently then we would uh, we would be in business we got a, a Victor Victor Mesa I can never remember if Victor Victor Mesa or Victor Mesa jr. is the better one I'm pretty sure Victor Mesa jr. is the better one uh, we got a nice George Valera. One of these days, uh, George Valera will get a um, a base Bowman card. Uh, we got a Dylan Carlson ready for flight. Shane Lang or not Shane Shay Langliers, uh, Joe Ryan, and Jared Kelenic. But the the Mets kind of wish he, they had him back, and then a Sam Huff to round out that pack. So. No autos, no relics. We've pulled one colored card, and then we got a nice C.J. Abrams and J.J. Boudé as uh, two of our better base cards we got. So those are nice ones. Uh, no relic in this pack, so let's get into it. Uh, Evan White. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of high on Evan White, and same with Marco Luciano. Dalton Varsho is a nice one. Nice Andrew Vaughn tape measure power insert uh we'd prefer the uh, the base andrew vaughn we got a brady mcconnell from the royals a joe adele maybe we'll see his rookie card in uh 2020 tops update but only time will tell uh probably about a third of the way done with the box if i had to guess and maybe maybe a quarter and we still haven't found an auto or a relic. Uh, Cameron Misner, uh, Luen Diaz, Cameron Cannon, pro debut. Nice Luis Robert insert. Uh, I guess I'll 
set that one aside since he is a, a hot name right now. Uh, then we have an Edward Cabrera. Oh man, I ran into that name in one of the last breaks. Ulrich Boyarski. Uh, Tim Tebow. That's a, that's a fun one. Former Florida quarterback who uh, beat the Steelers in the playoffs on a overtime pass to Demarius Thomas, one of the greatest plays in NFL history. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, I'm from Cleveland, so I kind of despise the Steelers. So Tim Tebow was my hero for a day. We got Josh Mears. Um, looks like we got some color in there, so that's nice. Uh, Dylan Carlson. Matthew Thompson. Then we got a Forrest Whitley from the Astros. Then we got a Tariq Scooball Blue. I believe that's out of 150. Yep. Tariq Scooball Blue out of 150. That's a nice one. Pretty nice pitching prospect. Uh, Sherton Apostle. And Riley Green. I know Riley Green's a, a pretty hot name in the, the Tigers organization. Let's see if we can find one of these hits. Uh, as always, let me know what you guys think of uh, Pro Debut in the comments down below. And if, if you want me to open uh, my remaining two boxes, I have one more regular box and one jumbo box. Um, let me know if you want to see me open those anytime soon. We got an Anthony Volpe Pro Debut. And then a uh, Brennan Davis and... Who is this? This is Brandon Williamson of the Everett Aqua Sox. It's a fun jersey with the, the tie-dye. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, I think next week I'm going to be doing a mail day. Uh, I kind of picked up enough packages for that. And then after that, I will probably do uh, either Top's Finest or Series 2. I'm not sure. So we got another Tariq Skubal, uh Bobby Witt Jr. Pro Debut. That was uh, one of the hot names in Bowman because he did not make it into Bowman draft last year, even though he was one of the uh, the top drafted players. Kyle Moore, uh, Joey Cantillo, and Jackson Cower. So still no auto, still no relics. Uh, in the videos I've watched, one of the relics has been a uh, manufacturer's patch or manufacturer's medallion. So that's always kind of annoying uh looks like we got our relic um so on the back we have a gray kessinger and then our relic is a joey bart from the uh fragments of the farm richmond flying squirrels joey bart 10th anniversary jersey it's, wow it's a very exciting 10th anniversary jersey the plain white square one of the more desirable ones and this was the uh, the card package with it is the uh, gray Kessinger looks, looks kind of funny uh, still a nice one Joey Bart fragments of the farm uh, today I actually went to my LCS not to to pick up the pro debut packs but to pick up a 5,000 count box because I got to sort a bunch of cards I haven't been sorting in a while I've uh, I've been slacking, and uh, I also picked up some super thick top loaders because I knew we were going to get some of these absolute monsters in uh, in this break. So, moving on, we have a Yusniel Diaz, a uh, Christian Robinson. A lot of people like him. I don't want to pronounce that name. Alec Bohm, Alex Karilov, uh, Grant Gambrell, pro debut. Jonathan India and Julio Pablo Martinez. So we still have both of our autos and one of our relics still to come. I uh, I believe all the autos in this set are sticker autos, which isn't the best, but man, on card autos look really cool. Uh, there's a nice Brian Rocchio. I've uh, been picking up some of his his uh, what's it called. His first Bowman Chrome Autos. Wow, really couldn't think of that one. Uh, Taylor Trammell. Uh, we got a Jared Triolo. And then here is one of our autos out of 50. So it's a blue Cannon Smith auto with the, uh, the Charleston River Dogs. I don't know much about 
Cannon Smith, but it's really cool to get a, a blue auto out of 150. He was drafted fourth overall by the Yankees in, uh, or not fourth overall, maybe in the, or maybe it was fourth overall. I'm not sure if it means fourth rounder, number four overall by the Yankees in 2017. Uh, so yeah, that's a that's a nice one. The Cannon Smith blue auto. Always nice to get color on the autos. Uh, so getting into it, getting back into it, Grayson Rodriguez, uh, TJ Sikema, and Luis Matos. Anytime I see uh, TJ Sikema, I don't know how uh, in tune you guys are with the NFL draft, but I listen to uh, the Draft Network's podcasts, and one of their podcast guys is Trevor Sikema. So I always think of him when I see that name. We have uh, Dylan File, I guess, Fiwe maybe, File, I'm not sure. Uh, Matt Gorski, uh, Nick Madrigal, Kyle Stowers, Trevor Larnich. Oh, man, they're really uh, getting me with some of these names. We got Freudus Nova, Luis Garcia, and Logan Wyatt, pro debut. So... Like I said, I really like this set. I just don't really like sorting it. So it looks like we have seven packs left after this one. And we're still looking for one of our autos and one of our relics. We got a nice Drew Waters and a Logan Driscoll. Jeter Downs uh, for the Dodgers. And then we got a Victor Mesa Jr. It's a nice one. Uh, Dre Jamison. Alex Spears. Chase Strumpf. And Jordan Grosshans, but not a not a pro debut. Ooh, this one kind of felt a little different when I picked it up. Let's see if uh, no, just must have not been all lined up in the pack. So we got Christian Pache. A lot of people like him. A little def defense first outfielder for the uh, the Braves. Uh, Tyler Freeman of the Lynchburg Hillcats. And we have a green Ryan Jensen pro debut. That's a, a cool card. And he plays for the uh, the Emeralds anyway, the Eugene Emeralds. So it's cool to get a, a green, which is numbered out of 99. Not a, not a great whip, but a pretty good ERA. So I guess he only pitched 12 innings. But uh, Mackenzie Gore. Andres Jimenez, Reese Hines, pro debut, and Julio Rodriguez's pro debut. He's never been in pro debut before, so that's interesting. I guess he hasn't been around too long, so that's a nice one, the Julio Rodriguez. I like Julio Rodriguez. He was my first pick in the, uh, in the prospect draft for my fantasy baseball league, which... I'm not quite sure how we're going to handle that this year with uh, the shortened season, but that will be determined here soon. Uh, Josh Jung of the, uh, the Rangers, Everson Pereira, Jackson Rutledge, Luis Patino of the uh, the Padres organization. I really like Lu Luis Patino. Nor uh, Nolan Gorman pulled his pro debut last year. He was the, uh, the cover boy on pro debut. Alec Marsh. Tristan Casas and Jake Sanford pro debut. So we have five packs left. We're still looking for one of our autos and one of our relics. I think this is the relic, actually. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the relic, so I'm going to open it next. It is a relic, and it is another Fragments of the Farm. We have an Antonio Cabello on the back. Oh, I actually saw the name in the reflection of the pack. We have a C.J. Abrams. Uh, from the Fort Wayne Tin Caps. Fragments of the Farm TV sitcom promo jersey night. Nice yellow square of C.J. Abrams' jersey that looks just like the rest of the card. Um, I gotta say, I don't like the uh, the design of the Fragments of the Farm inserts this year. I'm not a big fan of the, the big yellow rectangle. Um, I liked it last year better. It was kind of like a beige with, a, with some outlines, maybe some orange. 
Uh, still really nice name to pull for the uh, the fragments of the farm with the, the CJ, CJ Abrams. And then we have the uh, the Antonio Cabello on the back. All right, so four packs left. Let's see what our second auto could bring. We got a Bo Philip or Philippe pro debut, Daniel Lynch, Kendall Williams, Ian Anderson, Jose Gomez insert card, Andy Pages. And there's a nice Andrew Vaughn pro debut. That's one of the ones we were looking for, followed by Isaac Paredes. So let's stack up these packs here and get Andrew Vaughn a nice spot on the screen. Uh, if you are interested in any of these cards, hit me up on uh, Twitter or Instagram. I'll uh, work out a deal with you. I'm not looking to necessarily keep any of them. Um, I kind of like to, to PC what I like, but sometimes I like keeping some of the stuff I pull. Uh, but if you are interested in any of these, do hit me up on, uh, on Instagram or Twitter. The, the links are in my YouTube bio. So we got a nice Wander Franco there not his pro debut that was a little last year wilfred asked Dudio, uh ryan nelson uh spencer howard did i say howard yeah daniel johnson might uh might contribute to the indians this year uh cannon smith that's the guy we pulled the auto of and there's a nice daniel espino uh top prospect for the uh the indians well, one of the top prospects for the indians has some ridiculous stuff. I'm a huge fan of Daniel Espino. Um, been trying to pick up some more of his autos and stuff, so I'll set that one aside for myself. And then a nice uh, Jaseel De La Cruz. Uh, two packs left. Just a reminder: if you uh, if you like what you see here, leave a like. If you want to see more of it, please subscribe. Um, and if you have something to say, leave a comment down below. Uh, remember, when I hit 500 subscribers, we're doing a, a medium flat rate box, which is uh, just a $15 shipping, and I'm going to fill it up with all sorts of stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we have a Harar Encarnacion, uh, Blake Wal Walston, uh, Nico Hols Holsizer. Wow, all these are landscape cards. Uh, Davis Wenzel. Then we have a Mackenzie Gore ready for flight. Royce Lewis, Josiah Gray pro debut. A lot of people like Josiah Gray. And then a nice Ryan Mountcastle. So one pack left, and it it better have an auto in it. Uh, we've only pulled one auto. So this is, a, uh, this is an auto pack. I guess it does feel a little heavier, but I'm not sure if they actually use different stock for the, for the autos on this. So maybe it's just in my head. Uh, but I am over 300 subscribers now, so whenever we hit that 500 mark, we'll be doing a big giveaway. So be sure to subscribe so you uh, don't miss out on that. And without further ado, let's get into this last pack of 2020 Pro Debut. Let me know what you think of this product in the comments down below. We've got a Vidal Brujan, a Ronnie Mauricio, and then here is our auto. I'm going to make you guys wait till the very end if you want to see it. Um, we got a Seth Johnson, Max Lazar, Matt Cantario, D.L. Hall. And then we already saw those two cards. Uh, so this is the last card. I don't often get to actually make you guys wait. Uh, so let's see what it is. And we have a Victor Mesa Jr. Auto Pro Debut. That is a nice one. So Victor Mesa Jr. Auto. Um, he was signed as a, a free agent by the Marlins in 2018, a son of Victor Mesa. Victor Mesa liked his name so much, he named his children Victor Mesa Jr. and Victor Victor Mesa. So that is a pretty nice hit. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy. I do always like this product. I just Something about the way they do the matte finish with the, the glossy players, it's just really cool to me. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, though. So until then... I will catch you guys next time.